Good morning. Prayers for Nancy Morrison as she undergoes surgery at this hour. Um, we'll have an update for you on Friday with Greg's devotion. Um, but today, on this Wednesday, the 25th of October, happy birthday, Gabby Cortinas. Gabby will be baptized on... She's a ninth grader here at Cross of Hope. She'll be baptized at 1045, which will be the service that will stream as well. So, um, hope that you can tune in there uh, on uh, the stream at 1045 on Sunday. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll stream 1045 for a week or two here while Greg and Nancy um, uh, care for one another, mostly for Nancy and her healing. So, 1045 if you want to join us for worship here on Facebook. But today, uh, on Gabby's birthday, we're going to be in the Gospel of Matthew. Just a few verses here. So I'll, I'll meet you at uh, chapter 17 and verse 22. Uh, I see Nancy's emoji. Uh, I'm assuming that this is Greg. So hi, Greg. Uh, prayers continue and abound for Nancy in this hour. These hours. Verse 22 here, as they were gathering uh, in Galilee, Jesus said to them, I'm trying to see the context, I think it's the disciples here, the Son of Man, yes, is going to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him, and on the third day he will be raised, and they, will, and they were greatly distressed. When they reached Capernaum, the collector, uh, collectors of the temple tax came to Peter and said, does your teacher not pay the temple tax? He said, yes, he does. And when he came home, Jesus spoke of it first, asking, What do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tribute? From their children or from others? And Peter said, From others, Jesus said to him, Then the children are free. However, so that we do not give offense to them, go to the sea and cast a hook. Take the first fish that comes up, and when you open its mouth, you will find a coin. Take that and give it to them for you and me. It's a fun story you don't always necessarily encounter along the way. Free to Love Our Neighbors is the title of our devotion from Christ in Our Home and our partners there at Augsburg Fortress if you want to share this devotion to get together. Excuse me. It invites our focus to that last verse that we just encountered, however, so that we do not give offense. This story is one we don't often hear on Sundays. At first glance, it seems strange. Pulling coins from the mouths of fish is more like something from a children's book of tall tales than like most of Jesus' miracles. So what's going on here? I think of the coin, you know, being pulled out of the uncle who pulls the coin out of the kid's ear. As the Son of God just announced uh, at the Transfiguration, in the uh, preceding verses, Jesus is free from legal obligations to the temple. Matthew reminds readers that they are also free children of God. But the wording, quote, so that we do not give offense, fits uh, what Jesus will soon say in chapter 18, we should go to great lengths to not create barriers to others' faith, to avoid causing them to stumble. Jesus will indeed be generous, not out of duty, but out of love for neighbors. Then comes the silly-seeming the silly seeming fish. This generosity is going to flow out of God's remarkable provision. So when Jesus continues in chapter 18, calling hearers to be generous with welcome and forgiveness, we can be sure that God will provide those for us to share as well. Pray together, won't you? God, give you give your grace in surprising places. Free me to share your love joyfully. Amen. As this day unfolds before you, be invited to continue in prayer for um, how we use our freedom. Uh, and may God continue to bless you uh, as you sustain in prayer for Nancy and for uh, peace in this world as we continue to share this journey, learning and growing in life and faith. Camp at Cross of Hope tonight. Uh, we'll see you there, 5.30 to 7.30. Um, and then we'll look forward to uh, sharing a time of devotion uh, on my birthday tomorrow. Uh, and then worship at 10.45 here, streaming on Sunday. God bless you, beloved.